Hi friends, welcome to Expert IT Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss about Crow Path. Crow Path is a Chrome browser plugin to inspect XPath and CSS locators. So this is a developer tool to edit or to inspect and generate XPath and CSS selectors. It also highlights the elements for the XPath or CSS we have written manually. Now let us see the live how this tool works. So open a Chrome browser, go to Chrome Web Store. Okay, search for Chrome Path C H R O P A T H. Okay, you can see Chrome Path. Just click on Add to Chrome. Click on add extension. You can see Crow Path has been added to the Chrome. Okay, you can see the symbol coming up here. So now let's go to a different page, facebook.com, to test whether this works or not. Okay, I'm just refreshing the page. Then if you click on here, it shows the instructions on how to use this tool. So it says open Dev Tools panel, right click anywhere on the web page, click inspect. You can either go with that way or click on F12 inspect. You can see the Chrome by default developer tools has been displayed. Here, if you observe towards your right, you can see something called Chrome Path. This has been installed after this plugin has been added to Chrome browser. So just click on this Chrome Path. Here, you have two types either XPath or CSS, what you want to generate. So you want to generate XPath or CSS. So I am selecting XPath here. Now, let me go and use the developer tools to highlight my element email. You can see here, the XPath is automatically generated here. And it is saying one matching node found. So you can see the HTML code here, see, it's when whenever the element is been highlighted, you can see the complete element is being displayed with a blue dotted outer line. When in the crow path we tap, if you go and see the highlighted element there, automatically the color of the selected element would be changing into orange color dotted lines. Okay. Now, if you want to write your own X path and how it validates, let's see. So here I have two input boxes, email, phone, and other first name, last name. So let me write my own XPath like double slash input, click on enter. You can see many items are highlighted in blue color. All the items, 39 match, matching nodes are found. All of, them of, all of them are highlighted in the application. You can see below all the elements have been displayed here. Whenever you move the element, it automatically changes the color. If you see now the mobile number has changed the orange color, now the last name. Prior to that, it would change first name. So like this, you can see the difference. Whenever you are pointing to that particular HTML code, it automatically points which element it is going to highlight. The color difference is clearly seen for what the element is. You can write your own XPath like input, here it's type is equal to email, name is equal to email, ID is equal to email, you have different attributes. I'm using at the rate ID is equal to email, clicking on enter. You can see one matching node and you can see it's pointing there. All these properties are similar for CSS as well. You can do that. Let's remove this CSS and try to identify a few elements there you can see this is the complete css for the thing you can just point move your mouse to this point it automatically highlights so in this way you can use this css or xpath using crow path not only this if you can click anywhere on the dom also to just identify those things just right click just click on the dom automatically the css or xpath would be updated here you can click, see, and just click, it updates the ID, CSS, all those things here. The only disadvantage of this tool is it only gives us absolute XPath. 
But the good thing is you can write your own relative X path and can validate whether your X path is correct or not. So that's it uh, for uh, today. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and comment on the video and subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.